guys and welcome to the chroma side of youtube i'm back and you know what i thought i just want to do a puddle pour i just i am in the mood for a puddle pour i haven't done one in a long time and um you know i just don't want to get rusty and not to mention you know yes i'm venturing out and doing all kinds of different things but in the end i am an acrylic pour so here we go. I have <clears throat> I have a 9x12 canvas uh, chosen for my puddle pour. I have my colors chosen, which is white. And of course, you all know that I like to use the Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic brand. So I have the white. And I actually did two cups because my idea is to do white, lemon yellow, Brilliant Magenta and Orange. And I want to do white in between each uh, pour. So there are those. As you know, I do reuse my cups. So um, I actually mixed in these. And I'm just going to use them as my cups to elevate my painting. Go ahead and do this. Where are you? There you are. Okay. And make sure you guys are in frame for that. I can actually move you guys down. There we go. And I have one color that I did not mix for you all. And I did that because I wanted to show you my mix again. Again. But, you know, you can never say it too many times. So, I have a strainer here. Whoop. Don't cause a crash, girl. Anyway, I have a strainer here I buy from the dollar store and I actually cut the handle off of this one because I like to take, when I'm straining my Floetrol, I just drop it in my funnel like that. So it works out for me. So I have a strainer here. I have this and let me get, ugh, there we go. A new cup because I always strain my paint. I strained my Floetrol before I put it in this container. This is Floetrol. Um, and I buy it at Walmart, or not Walmart, uh, Home Depot. And I did, this is a three ounce cup. And I did about that much up to the top. Let's see, up to the top right here with um, paint. I'm gonna go to here with the flow trawl. So that's one part paint, two parts flow trawl, and then a dab of water here and there if I need it. So let's go ahead and put in our flow trawl. Again, I did strain my flow trawl before I put it in this squeeze bottle. And if you don't think that's good enough, which I never do, um, I always strain my mixture after as well. And the reason why we do that is number one, we strain our flow trawl because as it sits in the counter in the jug that it's in, the flow trawl has been on the sides where you've poured it and all that. So that flow trawl that's going down the sides uh, dries and makes clumps in your flow trawl and then they settle at the bottom. So then you shake your flow trawl because you always shake your flow trawl before you pour it, right? Shake your flow trawl, you pour it out, you get those clumps in there. Because essentially all Floetrol is is acrylic paint with no color. So, with that being said, same thing happens to your acrylic paint tube. Like, this is a good example. In fact, I left it on its side for a reason. You can see where the paint is on the tube. Let me get up here and see if you guys can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So you can see that the paint is up on the tube and the paint is actually laying down in the container. So what happens is if, when I shake this up, the paint that was stuck here on the tube is now mixed in and it's got the little clumps, which is fine for if you're just squirting out on a palette and you paint with it and you find a clump, you just kind of move it out of the way and keep going, right? But when you're pouring and you're doing that anything fluid, it's all clumpy and gross and you don't want gobby gobbies in your painting. So what do we do? We strain our flow trough, we shake it first, 
pour it out into our container through a strainer to strain our goat flow draw, and then we strain our mixture. Now, honestly, this, um, this texture actually looks and feels pretty good. I might add a little dab of water. And I like to have my water in the squeeze bottle because then I can add just a dot, not a lot, you know. Oh yeah, that is legit perfect. So I'm gonna put my strainer here and let's see if there's any gobbies. If there's not, woohoo. If there is, thank God I strained it, right? So I'm... Okay, we're gonna take this strainer off and I always keep a bucket of water sitting next to my desk just so that I can, um, beautiful. Just so that I can uh, rinse out my strainer in between colors. I'm gonna put my water and my Floetrol little juggy thingies up here and the cup that I need it to, um, I need to let that cup dry out. Sometimes I peel the paint out of the cups that I've let dry and sometimes I just use them as is because I know I'm just gonna strain the paint anyway. So here's my white colors. Here's my other colors. I'm gonna move my paint bottles off of my desk. And of course I have a soda sitting up here. As you all know, I always drink a soda while I'm doing this. move that out of the way and get me out a pair of gloves now a lot of the times I don't use gloves and I know it's a bad habit and I know that a lot of you all have called me out on it before but it's it's mainly because I do have a slight form of eczema and the gloves the heat in the gloves and the plastic on my skin does break me out and I would much rather wash my hands later than to wear gloves while I'm creating but for the benefit of showing you all how to do it properly I will wear gloves this time and I actually found some gloves I believe it's at an auto parts store that was latex free and um, I actually do like these because they're a little um, thinner than the other gloves I was using so let's start our puddle pour. And I think I want two puddles. I think I want one here and one here. So I'm gonna start it with yellow. I don't know why I started with yellow, but I'm gonna start with yellow. And then I'm gonna go white in between each color. That's why I have so much white mixed up. of the orange and then just for giggles I'm gonna pour the rest of this yellow on the corners and that way I will have almost like a fail proof that the corners will get covered And I am going to start here and I'm going to put my finger through. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but what the heck, let's try it. Now, I'm going to tilt and I like to tilt my tilts in an X going this way and then an X going this way. Get the corners and then go straight up that way toward that corner and go straight down this way and just let it stretch. I really like this color combo. I don't want to lose all that pink. So I'm going to pull it back this way a little bit. <clears throat> B. 
beautiful. I'm just making sure all of my corners are covered. Now, if you notice, I didn't put any silicone in this. And as you can see, because of the movement, there was a little bit of air trapped in the paint, all of that, I will get lacing in some of these areas. So yes, I will be torching because torching is important to get the air bubbles out. You don't wanna have a finished painting with um, air holes where the air bubble popped during paint uh, drying and then the, air, the paint wasn't um, able to um, move into that spot. So I'm gonna torch this Make sure all the air bubbles are out. Focuses, focusing on some of the spots where the white is. Hopefully I can create some good layering, uh, lacing. You know, your girl loves a, a good lacing moment. And you can see some good cells, some good lacing going on in this painting. So I'm very, very, very happy with this. Uh, I love the colors, it's very summer. And uh, I'm going to get you down and take a look. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to let it sit for a minute and see if any of these cells develop uh, a little more. Because I can actually see some growing. I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm really happy with this part here, this part, definitely this part, and I like this little corner here. So I'm really excited. Let's see if some of these things grow. I'm gonna take a sippy sippy from my uh, from my Coca Cola. Yes, that's the brand I prefer, Coca Cola. You know, it's so hard to say soda because I'm from Georgia, and the funny thing about being from Georgia and uh talking about your drinks is everything is coca-cola everything you could say hey uh give me a coke and someone will say well what kind and someone else will say uh root beer and you're like that's not a coke though but it is in georgia because that's the birthplace of coke and uh, let's face it that's just the way things are around here um, but it's my hometown. That's the way things are. And I love it. And it's kind of weird. And people always call me out on it. But at the same time, I don't really mind because I still call everything a Coke. <laughs> Us Georgians, we're really proud of what started here. You know what I mean? We're, we're very proud of that. So let's get you down and give you guys a look. I think that has developed as much as it's going to develop. All right, guys, so we're gonna start in the bottom left-hand corner where all that orange was. And as you can see, we've got a lot of different cells going on, especially where that white was. That is what we call the lacing. It gives a beautiful, beautiful effect that almost looks like crocheted lace. And then this little corner, I love the fact that you can see pink and orange and yellow all in one spot. I love that. Again, right here is a lot of that lacing. The cells that you get in a puddle pour that you do not put any um, silicone in, those are gonna be the cells that are gonna be mostly lacing. And the reason that is is because the flow trough separates sometime too. It, it causes that little separation when you heat it. And that's how you get that lacing without any silicone. Which is alright too. I mean, I like the big I like the big cells. 
but I also like the little cells as well. Sometimes subtle is good. Sometimes you're like, I want something astronomically awesome. I love this. I even got lacing in the orange there, so that's pretty cool. Look at this on the sides. Pretty cool. Yes, girl, yes. Look at that. I love it. I see a thumbnail coming up. <laughs> all right, let me put you guys back up there. Thank you all for painting with me. I had a blast with this today. I love going back to the basics and doing things that make me happy, like these colors. Anyway, I hope you all were inspired, and please give me a like. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications whenever I put up new video content. Um, I know it's been a little haphazard with my uploading, but I'm hoping to get a little more um, consistent with that because I'm almost ready to open my, my studio. And if you want to come down and get a hands-on lesson on how to do things like this, please, by all means, come to uh, Rock Mart Georgia and visit me. Um, <laughs> I love you all, and as always, be inspired. Bye-bye, y'all.